In my life, I have experienced profound obstacles that have taken immense personal strength to overcome. I have experienced abuse and injustice at the hands of someone who was supposed to protect me from them. From the time I was three until I was 12, I was sexually and mentally abused by my father. I was told that no one would believe me if I tried to tell them, or that people would think I was stained like it was my fault. I was silenced, and I was robbed of a childhood that I might have had, and it took me nine years to tell anyone about the abuse for fear of what might follow. When I finally told my mom what was happening to me, my entire world changed. I went through a period of my life where I felt extremely lonely. I moved to a new school with new kids and teachers, and I didn't know anyone. I missed my old friends, my old routine, and even my dad. Not my abuser, but my dad. It took me a long time to find the strength within myself to speak out about the injustice that was happening to me and to forgive my dad for what he did. I went to many different therapists and talked with them one-on-one, -on -one, but I still felt alone. It wasn't until I started going to a summer therapy group with other girls my age that I started to open up. I felt like I had finally found a place where people understood me and where I could speak openly. I spent years hiding behind the epidemic of silence, too afraid to open up and talk about what had happened to me, too afraid that I would be judged or that no one would understand. Little did I know there are millions of people all over the world who have felt the exact same way that I did. Every year in the US alone, 321,500 people will be victims of sexual assault. The number of those cases that is reported, however, is less than half. Young girls, just like me, are too afraid to speak out against their abusers. Some of them have no one to trust and confide in, no one to be a shoulder to cry on, and no one to help them break their silence. In my 18 years, I have been given a platform and an opportunity to share my story and speak out about destroying the plague of silence. I have been able to work in therapy groups and talk about the injustices that were happening to me, as well as to hear the ones that others have faced. I have learned that people from all walks of life have stories just like mine, stories of domestic abuse, racism, bullying, prejudice, sexual assault, and many others that go unheard of every single day. In finding my voice and speaking out, I have been able to help others find their voice and shatter the silence. Thank you.